Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Rob Balasabas. Really glad to have you here. In this video, I'm going to show you how the Adobe Express Content Scheduler works. So let's jump right into it. All right, let's go to my screen. All right, welcome to my screen. Now, this is the homepage for the Adobe Express Content Scheduler tool. You'll see here that uh, this is a free social media scheduler. So uh, really useful, especially if you're already using Adobe Express. But even if you're not, this is going to be a really useful tool for you. You can easily schedule all of your social posts and uh, for multiple platforms, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, all uh, from one place. It can go to all of those channels, all of those platforms, all uh, from the single scheduler here. And so you can create your content, as you can see on the screen, create your content uh, from a bunch of templates, uh, assets, stock images that's available on Adobe Express. And then you can connect all of your social channels as well. Like I said, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn um, is all synced up already. And then you can plan and schedule ahead of time. I'll show you exactly how this works. I'm going to show you my uh, scheduler uh, screen here. Uh, you can then preview and then publish and select the dates and time that you want your post to go out to and then you can of course then just sit back and engage in the comments engage in the content once it is published all right now adobe express also has a bunch of tutorials very helpful to walk you along uh, each part of uh, using this tool all right so uh, let's go back into um, my screen now and let's go into my Adobe Express account. All right, so this is my Adobe Express account. This is one of my test accounts. And you can see here, this is, uh, I'm choosing uh, the week of July 2nd. Doesn't really matter, but you get a full seven day uh, calendar here. I'm gonna go to the next week here. And you can see that as I go through each of the days, that there's a little plus sign that pops up. And that means that that will allow you to start a new post, okay? Um, first, you will find the scheduler on the uh, left-hand side here. You'll see uh, the schedule uh, tab right there. Very straightforward. Once you find that, that's how you get to where I am now. Uh, you can also view the scheduler by week or by month, okay? You'll see that on the top right. You can see where my marker is by week or by month. And so if I go to month, I can see the exact uh, the entire month view here uh, for July, August and so on. And I can see that big picture uh, really easily. OK, we're going to go back to today and then we're going to go to the next week and you can just toggle through that way really easily. Uh, you can also go to the top right here and you can create a new post by clicking on plus new post. And also, of course, what you want to do is you want to set up all of your connections. This means all of your social channels um, and setting up all of the connections there. So just clicking on manage connections on the top right of the screen. OK, now let's go and pretend that we're going to be posting. So let's say on, um, you know, Friday, we're going to be setting a post here for Friday, the 14th. We're going to hover over that day on the top of that. You'll see the plus icon. And I'm going to click on that to set up a new post. And now you'll get this pop up. It's really straightforward. Um, you will have the date, the schedule time that you want to then make the post right here. Uh, you can also publish this now if you want to. Right. Um, and you can choose all the channels, right, that you want to post to. Uh, same thing with publish or with scheduling. OK, um, then below that is uh, the channels like I said so you can select all of the channels you can select one channel or multiple channels and I'll show you what that looks like in the preview because each one will actually preview how that looks on that particular platform and not all platform looks the same um, and so I'm gonna choose all of the different channels except for Pinterest because I don't have a Pinterest account um, all right and so it's gonna ask you if you're not connected yet it's gonna ask you to connect all of those accounts okay so let me do that real quick and I will be right 
All right, so I've gone ahead and now connected a couple of my social channels. I've connected my Instagram account and also my LinkedIn account here, which just actually happens to be my two most active uh, social, social channels outside of YouTube and my podcast. And so let's go with that for now. Um, and so the next field here we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be filling out is um, the captions. All right, so you'll see the captions right here where my mouse is. And so very st straightforward. You can type in uh, text. You can also put in emojis you also have hashtags and things like that um, and so let's put in a pretend uh, caption here Adobe Express scheduler scheduler uh, Adobe Express there we go all right and we're gonna put in also a emoji. There you go. All right, so there we go, there's the emoji. Now, there is also, as you can see here, right below because I chose Instagram, there's also an option to put in a first comment on Instagram. And so this is a really good place to put in a, uh, uh, a call to action, right? Um, something like to the effect of uh, go to my link in bio for more info right okay so there you go so there's uh, an option there which is really helpful you don't have to go in uh, after you post and put in the first comment um, you can put it right there now there's also here on the right hand side you'll see that you can drop uh, an image or video directly um, and so this can be from Adobe Express or from your uh, computer your hard drive your computer there so um, let me put one in for you right now so you can see what that looks like here all right, so now you see that it's got an image now. And um, also right below that, you can see that I can delete this uh, image if I want. And also I can add more images uh, as a carousel or, you know, sort of a uh, multiple photo or multiple image post as well. All right. So we can go in and now we can go in preview. And now you can see when you click on preview right here on the left hand side, there's a gray button that says preview. You can see what this looks like on Instagram and also on LinkedIn. All right, so you can kind of see, all right, does this match up? Is this working? Is this what I want it to look like? And you can see that. You can also see when it cuts off the text, like for example, with LinkedIn, it does tend to cut off after a certain amount of characters and same thing with Instagram. But here it shows you that uh, where that cutoff will happen. My, my captions aren't that long and so it doesn't show a cutoff but for you when you do have a longer caption uh, for your post it will show where that cuts off now here one of the last things I'll show you here is on the bottom left you can also save this as a draft okay so you don't have to post this right away you can say, set it up as a draft now um, why would you do that you ask you know you may think like why because <laughs> um, and so you know, if you are working, let's say you're a social media manager or you're uh, overseeing social media as part of your role, um, and there may be other people on the team or your clients that are going to oversee and approve those posts, you can save it as a draft, add it as a draft. Somebody else can log in to, your, uh, to the Adobe Express account and take a look at your drafts and just make sure that it is... Um, it looks good and it's uh, within you know brand tone it's on brand all of those things and approve um, the post uh, for you all right so it's a really helpful uh, tool there all right so uh, now that we're here all you need to do is click on schedule which I will do here as a test I'm gonna schedule this for uh, let's see let's schedule this for much much later just so you can see what this looks like and um, away we go. We are going to schedule this post. Click on schedule. Let me find where that schedule is and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Now. All right, so here we are in the month view. And we'll go to April. You'll see that at the bottom of my screen here. All right, and so now you see these two posts and uh, away we go. So um, right here, right below where my video is, you'll see the two scheduled posts right there. I can click into these two. I can hover over them and you can kind of see what they look like. All right, there's the image 
and I can also hover over, click into it, and I can edit uh, that post again. All right, so there you have it. That's how the Adobe Express uh, scheduler works. If you have any questions, I hope uh, you take a moment and just drop them into the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you and also ju not just in the comments, but also answer them in future videos as well. I really do love using Adobe Express for many, many, many use cases in my everyday content creation uh, tasks. And um, yeah, I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.